As an ECSU student, have you ever experienced hearing inappropriate language of a sexual matter directed towards you by a fellow student that made you feel uncomfortable? Have you ever been the victim or know of a fellow student who's been the victim of assault or sexual violence with their significant other? Have you ever taken an online course and met a fellow student that continues to send emails not related to class content or happens to show up in locations where you are that made you ever feel uncomfortable? All of these scenarios are covered under Title IX. You are probably asking, what is Title IX? Title IX is a federal educational amendment created in 1972 that prohibits discrimination based on gender sex. Title IX states that no person in the United States shall on the basis of sex be excluded from participation in, be denied the benefits of, or be subjected to discrimination under any education program or activity receiving federal financial assistance. Title IX covers students, staff, faculty, and visitors to our campus. How does Title IX affect you as a student? The following definitions are situations covered under Title IX. One, sexual harassment. is unwelcome conduct determined by a reasonable person to be so severe, pervasive, and objectively offensive that it effectively denies a person equal access to the institution's education program or activity. Two, sexual assault. is any sexual act directed against another person without consent of the victim including instances where the victim is incapable of giving consent. Three, domestic violence. It's crimes of violence that is committed by a current or former spouse or intimate partner of the victim. Four, dating violence. It's violence committed by a person who is or has been in a social relationship of a romantic or intimate nature with the victim. And five, stalking is engaging in a course of conduct directed at a specific person that would cause a reasonable person to fear for his or her safety or the safety of others or suffer substantial emotional distress. If you or someone you know is experiencing any of these situations, please follow our motto. If you see something, say something. Your next question may be, who do I contact if I experience one or more of these situations? My name is Lucretia Banks and I am the Interim Title IX Coordinator. I may be reached at 252 335-3907 or 252-368-6406 by email at title9coordinator at ecsu.edu. My office is located in the C.W. Griffin Hall, room 130. You may also report anonymously on our safe ECSU website located on our main ECSU webpage at www.ecsu.edu. As a student, you have the right to request a formal Title IX investigation. If you desire to decline, you as a complainant, as well as the respondent, will still have access to supportive measures, such as no contact orders, counseling services, change of housing accommodations, or excused absences or course section changes in the Division of Academic Affairs. If you choose a formal investigation, it will be conducted in a timely, unbiased manner. Once the investigation is completed, a decision will be made based on the preponderance of evidence if the respondent is found responsible for violating our policy. Then, the Assistant Dean of Students will determine the necessary sanctions. If you feel your immediate safety is at risk, please contact your local law enforcement agency or a local sexual assault response program. At ECSU, it is our goal to make sure our students remain safe and have access to resources when needed. Our on-campus resources are the Office of Student Counseling Services, which can be reached at 252-335-3267, and Student Health Services, which can also be reached at 252-335-3267. Our off-campus resources are the Albemarle Hope Line, which can be reached at 252-338-3011, and Centera Albemarle Medical Center, located at 1144 North Road Street, Elizabeth City, North Carolina, 27909. Once again, if you or someone you know is experiencing any of the situations discussed, please reach out to my office via visit, phone, email, or our safe ECSU site at any time. Again, I am Lucretia Banks, your Title IX coordinator. Thank you for your time. Bike and Pride.